Welcome to CarDesign.Academy and the continuation of the SL Coupe interior. Uh, so in the last video, I showed you how I begin an interior uh, concept design uh, just using the simple ink brush tool. And so this is literally a 3D sketch. I, I came into this with no preconceived idea of what the interior should look like other than the fact that it has this unique three occupant layout. And I want the third occupant to have this, this sort of VIP throne-like uh, experience and uh, and then the the driver has you know is a very it's a very driver focused cockpit uh, for high performance driving so the so the driver can can have a very high performance experience and the passengers can have a more sort of comfortable limousine like experience and you know potentially this could even act as an autonomous vehicle as well uh, so um, so anyway in the next uh, stage I'm going to start to build the interior in sub D. So, uh, and there'll be, there'll be a lot of uh, experimentation and discovery as well. This is not by any means a, uh, a modeling exercise. This is still very much a sketch exercise. So the first part of building an interior in sub D is going to be the steering wheel. So, uh, as I usually do, I like to start with a ribbon stroke tool in sub D mode. And I'll just show you how I can very quickly extract a steering wheel. Uh, so many steering wheels today are not are not perfectly circular. They're 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 kind of round. So I'm actually um, I'm building on the mirror plane. So I'm actually going to start by building it in the center position. So I'm going to start with just very quickly creating that 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 periphery shape. I'm just going to adjust the points a little bit. Try to make sure everything is uh, uh, nice and planar. So, if I look at the polygons, you'll see they're they're pretty evenly spaced. Um and I have them organized it with mitered corners, sort of like a picture frame. And that, that, that makes this a continuous edge loop. So um, I'm just going to bring this the sides in a little bit. Okay, so you know, once it's a symmetrical object, it can, it can actually be moved to the, the side position. So now I, can, now I can actually bring these points in and scale them. You can, and you can see it's still updating as a symmetrical object. So the mirror plane moves with it. Let's bring it down. And I might bring bring the bottom down just a little bit too. Again, just keep checking to make sure it's planar. That's not wrapping in and out. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give this thing some dimension now. And a very simple way to do that is to turn on auto select loops, select all the faces and extrude outward. Very simple. Then I just got to fill in the back side. So to do that, I'll go into poly view so you can see what I'm doing here. And I can turn edge loops off for now. Actually, now I'm just going to turn them on and I'm just going to extrude again. And now I can just go in and connect all of these points. And now I have an enclosed shape. And you can see it, it looks quite a bit thinner. So I'm going to add a few add additional points to give you know give more definition to the steering wheel. And I can I can really custom tune the 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 section of it. To give it to give it more more shape. So after a few edits, I'm going to move it back to the center position so I can start to develop the the theme. So what I'm going to do is use my tool belt and using my uh, move rotate tool. If I click on it and then I click on this box right here, it says recenter to world mirror. I can click it right back to the original position. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to grab the uh, interior sketch, uh, the, 
I'm going to grab the the uh the ink brush lines. And while I'm at it, I'm going to grab the sketch of the steering wheel and just shift that back to center as well. I just want to capture the theme. So I'm just going to use that as a reference. And again, I'm just going to start to sketch out I'm just going to start to sketch out the um, the main elements. I'm going to go into poly view. And just work out all the main shapes in poly view first. Just sort of match. So the idea is that you have this this information display that's that's recessed from the uh, <clears throat> from the rim of the steering wheel. And then I'm I'm just going to work out how how it intersects with the steering wheel. So using Polyview I can identify where any potential issues are with the surfacing. So I'm making sure the polys don't um twist too much in and out of each other, that kind of thing. And then what I'll do is start to add some, some thickness. I'm actually going to make this screen a little bit wider. Sometimes too, when your when your polygons start to get a little bit out of control, you can just remove some and add them back. So now I'm just going to add some thickness here. Adjust my geometry a little bit. I can start to close out the shape on the back side. So now, if I turn on my geometry, everything is starting to have a, like a nice sort of thickness to it. Now I have control over how this shape intersects with the steering wheel. You can see I can really tune tune that intersection point. Then I start to add additional geometry to give more tightness and definition. And then I'm going to start to develop the steering column. So what I'm going to do is kind of follow follow the shape of the, the, the steering wheel center. Extrude rearward. Now we're going to want this steering column to actually tilt down a bit. And then I'm going to give it <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to give it some uh, a bit a bit of thickness here. So I'm actually I'm going to fill I'm going to fill this shape in.
with a flange section. Now you really got to watch out for twisting, uh, twisting polygons. So I can just bring it right back to where it was. So now you can see there's this nice even gap forming around the steering column and the steering wheel. With driver oriented cars, <clears throat> I usually like to start with the steering wheel. It's it's the real it's really the center point of the driving experience. And it's important that that it's that it's done right. This is I mean this is the part of the vehicle that you you see and experience and touch more than anything else. So I'm going to give this steering column a darker material to match the so it starts to blend into the the uh the back of the instrument panel. And then I'm going to go in with um another material to represent the this the display. So turn on turn off the polygons. It's going to set up the shape, the basic shape to fill that uh, fill that back surface there. So this is this is going to be another material. It's going to be like a glossy black material. <clears throat> And I'm just going to extrude straight out. Actually, what I can do is extrude in an, at an angle. That way, all I have to do is just adjust this outer, this outer shape, and the and the mirror uh, stays, um, or the center point stays stays uh, clipped to the mirror point. So I can just move this whole thing back to. to intersect with the the rest of the steering wheel. So I might just take those those points further back and then just add some additional geometry. So as I add additional points, I get more definition, more more structure. Pretty simple. So now I can assign a gloss shader to it so that we know clearly that it is a reflective material. So this is going to be our, our main display. Actually thinking of bringing these points further out. And then uh, what I think I might do is put some, some, some um, shifters electronic shifters sort of floating just sort of floating on the the outside they could be shifters or they could be just another control interface and they just sort of park themselves just uh, just behind that, or just ahead of that screen, so everything is a nice tight fit. And give that a give that an extrude. I'm going to select all the faces here and. 
extrude out. And I think I'm going to fill in back here. By keeping the, the geometry extremely simple at the beginning, get everything where I want it without a lot of a lot of fuss. So you see how very quickly I can tune tune the shape of this of this uh, steering wheel and all of its features. So then what I can do is just just uh, using my ink brush, I can add just some some iconography. Actually, the easier way to do this is just to use the stroke tool with the ball shape and keep it in point mode. Then I can go like this. And if I just bury these into the surface a little bit, I can get something that looks like it was manufactured that way. Now I can just bake mirrored and I can get rid of the so I can have plus and minus or I can just leave them both plus signs and, and make them navigation uh, functions menu uh, navigations We'll get more into details later, but just wanted to show you a little bit about what you can do. So once I have the basic steering wheel, I'm just going to move it back to um, I'm going to move it back to the side position, so I'm going to group all of this, and then I can move it back to the side position. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to have to bake mirror. So one, one, all of the symmetrical objects that are connected at the mirror plane, um, they have to be um, they have to be, um, they, they'll stay symmetrical. So now, now that we have a pretty good idea of what the steering wheel is going to look like, I'm going to go ahead and group it and send it back to the driver's position. And while I'm at it, I'll take the interior sketch uh, steering wheel and move that as well. Just so we have it as our reference. So if I turn off the interior sketch layer, you see very quickly I have a nice representation of what it's going to be like driving this thing. So as I'm sitting in the driver's seat, got my hands on the wheel. I've got my display right there. I can see out over the road. Uh, if I turn on my headliner, you can see that's that's what my vision looks like. And so I have everything I need to 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 have a really nice uh, driver oriented experience. So in the next video, I'm going to start to get into the seating. And then finally, we'll get into the theme of the instrument panel and um, all the other details. So thanks for watching and join me next time at cardesign.academy.